In this video, we're going to be talking about the basics of trading. We're going to be talking about the objectives, the types of trading you can do, securities, risk management, picking assets, the types of orders you can make, and some common terms like FOMO and cost averaging. Now, there's several points to the objectives of, you know, how to trade. Most of the time, if you're bullish or you believe the price of an asset is going to go up, you want to buy low and sell high. That's just pretty much the way to make the most profit on whatever trade you're going to be entering. But if you think the price is going to go down, which means you're bearish, you want to short sell that asset, which means you want to enter at a higher position and cover or close your position when it's at a lower price to gain money off of it falling down. It's pretty much like betting against it. Another objective is to grow your net worth in a safe condition. We're going to be talking about that more on the risk management side, which will be coming up shortly. Another perk to uh, trading, especially when you're in stocks, is you can pretty much be a part of what you believe in. When you buy a stock or a share of a company, you're called a shareholder, which means you own a part of that company, technically speaking at least. Um, another thing you want to do when trading is have consistency. You're going to be putting yourself in a position to make more than you can lose. You want to give yourself, you know, three to one, four to one, five to one ratios. And you want to be able to gain, you know, every single day. Um, and I'd probably say maybe the most important part is to let go of your emotions. When you're trading, you have to look at indicators. You have to look at, you know, actual facts. You cannot be just trading because of your emotions. That's just going to make you lose money in the long run. Now, the different types of trading are day trading, swing trading, and investing. This course is mainly going to be pertaining to swing trading. But uh, just so you can know, day trading is basically, you know, buying and selling uh, security within the same day. This requires a lot of monitoring as you have to see where the price is going constantly. It requires a lot of technical analysis. And, you know, if you're new to buying and selling, it could require fundamental analysis. Swing trading, which again is the main part of this course. It's pretty much entering and closing a position in the security somewhere between two days and a month. You know, whenever it gets to that price where you want to exit is when you're pretty much going to be exiting. But just for like a time frame that can help you understand what swing trading is. Now, investing in long term trading um, requires less fundamental analysis. Oh, sorry for that. It requires a lot more fundamental analysis and minimal technical analysis. Um, you're pretty much, you don't have to monitor the price every day. You're pretty much buying an asset because you believe that it's going to go up over time. And you believe, let's say, company A is going to be creating a lot of profit. It's going to be getting a lot of customers and it's going to be getting good reception from the market. Moving on, I'm going to be talking about the term bullish and bearish for pretty much every single presentation throughout this course. If you're bullish, that simply means you think the price will go up. If you're bearish, that simply means you think the price will go down. Um, and I'm also going to be talking about securities. Security just means a tradable asset. It could be stocks, cryptocurrency, currencies such as the dollar or the euro. It could be metals like gold and silver, basically anything that changes in price over time. Um, when you are bullish, though, you want to be buying that security. Whereas if you are bearish, you want to be um, short selling it. But um, over time, personally, I mean, not even personally, most people also know this. Being bullish for most assets, especially strong ones, is just going to be able to give you more reward. Because, you know, the most of the price can go down is 100%, whereas the most of the price can go up is unlimited. So you also want to keep that in mind. Another part about, you know, technical analysis, especially, is managing your risk. This is probably the biggest indicator of if you're going to be able to make a lot of money over time. You want to be entering trades, you know, especially in day and swing trading where pretty much most of your trades will be winners. Not all of them have to be winners. You have to learn somewhere and you cannot always be right. But uh, most of the time you want to be able to have more reward than risk. Um, you also want to know when to sell in both directions. You need to know when you cut your losses so that you, that you do not lose more than you anticipate. And you also need to remember not to sell yourself short because that can prevent you from making additional gains. Throughout this course, you're going to have plenty of education to help you do this and help you increase your probability for success. Now, a lot of people, I'm sure, are wondering what should they be investing in. I cannot tell you exactly what, but these are three big points that you want to be covering every time you're going to be entering the position. 
You want to make sure it is either profitable, becoming profitable, or gives value to a market, which is more pertaining to cryptocurrencies, which I'm going to be talking about in the next video. You want to use the education here and make sure it meets several bullish signs. Also, you want to be looking at the fundamentals. You need to know what you're investing in. You cannot just look at the price. You need to know if it's a good asset. And, you know, some securities that are not good assets could go up in price, but that's just, it's not going to make you a lot of money over time. You know, 99% of the time, as I put at the bottom, <laughs> winners win. Now, also, you want to know what type of order you can pretty much make when trading. When you're buying, you can market buy, which is a guaranteed purchase at the current price, or you can limit buy, which is a potential purchase at a more preferable price. So let's say if the price goes from $5 to $4 and you had a limit buy for $4, then you would get a, you know, an entry at a lower price. When you're selling, you can market sell, limit sell, or have a stop order. When you're selling on market, that's a guaranteed sell at the current price of an asset. When you have a limit sell, that means it's a potential, you know, sell of your asset at a more preferable or higher price. When you have a stop order, that pretty much means that if the price falls to a certain level, you're just going to cut your losses and prevent yourself from losing more. That's a little bit tricky because sometimes it can hit your stop and then go right back over that price. So you want to make sure your stop is a little bit low so that, you know, you have some room for the stock to go up and down a bit. But at the same time, you don't want it too low so that you don't lose more than you anticipate. Now to end up the video, these are two important terms you should know as a beginner. The first one is FOMO, which is the fear of missing out. Um, this pretty much just means whenever new traders see prices going up really rapidly, some of them just jump on board to try and, you know, catch those gains. But this is usually the area where most people are selling and pretty much always turns into a pump and dump, which pretty much means the price goes up. New traders buy the top of the trade or the assets price. And then while the people who are already in the asset making the real gains sell it and leave those new traders at the top, losing a lot of money as the price goes back down. And then another term is cost averaging, which is something personally I wish I knew as a beginner. You don't have to put all of your money into one order and just literally enter the trade with everything. You can put more and more money over time as the price goes down, which is pretty much cost averaging, which will also allow you to create more profit. So hopefully this video helps you just get the basics of what trading is. Um, in the next video, we're going to be describing stocks and cryptocurrencies. So uh, go head on over to that and make sure to subscribe. Subscribe. I'm sorry, it's my first video. But yeah, guys, thank you for watching. See you in the next video.